What is going on, everybody? How is everybody in the Raven Dawn community doing? This is the first time I've logged in in a month. I just reinstalled the game, and I just want to let everybody know I'm going to uninstall this game right after this video. I just would like the people of Raven Dawn to understand I was never banned from this game. I do not RMT. I could give two shits about people who try to make money from video games it is like whatever that is it's funny to me but at this point i think it's kind of evident anytime niter gets accused of anything wrong with development that he will ban them from the platform and accuse them of rmt and I truly believe the only reason why they're doing that is because Niter is actually helping people RMT in the game. Why would they do that? Well, there's a huge secondary market for silver in MMOs or any type of currency in MMOs. Why not control the secondary market and also run the game at the same time? If it's not linked to you, what does it matter? So yes. I'm definitely saying at this point that the developer of the game is conspiring with guilds in order to uh, smooth their ability to RMT while make other people's ability to RMT not exist. The only reason why I think that, by the way, is because the developer for some reason accuses everybody of RMTing and then bans them. It doesn't make any sense to me. Why would you do this? But anyway, now let's get into the reasons why the game is dead. There was these things called trade packs. And trade packs had a bug. The bug was that none of the demand made any sense and that they were undervalued all the time. So the developers kept trying to reset them. One day they reset them so hard that anybody who could transfer like five or six trade packs could just make a bajillion fucking silver that day and then the next day they basically nerf trade packs so anybody who made money that day prior which is most likely botters that they were helping trying to support the black market for RMTing in the game anybody who made money were, was able to keep their money and economic advantage while anybody subsequently trying to do trade packs got screwed this is mostly focusing on people who are new players. Anybody who was trying to use trade packs with their boat to transfer them across seas lost that ability. It all of a sudden made sense to just take them on the wagon more so than it did on the boat. This took away people being able to make money and also any possibility of PvP for newer players. It completely removed the ability for new players to get money and get to the same level that veteran players were on, which gave them an advantage. Every single day after these updates, it seemed like every subsequent update further enhanced this advantage that these guilds and veteran players were getting. The only reason that people were getting upset at me was because I pointed this out. I was banned from the Discord for pointing out that it seems like development was helping out veteran guilds and veteran players while creating a wealth gap that was going to make it so brand new players and the brand new player experience was never going to be something that you'd want to, want to attempt. And guess what? Everybody's leaving the game! Guess who was wrong? Not me. Not me. So this is my final Raven Dawn video. Uh, uh, sorry to anybody who's still playing this game. I mean, honestly, like, I liked it. I liked the game. I was into it. I was very much into it until the developer started getting pissed off in Discord and banning people, calling them RM tiers. Meanwhile, like, three days before that, he's telling everybody that they're crying because all they're doing is pointing out that, like, the building system doesn't make any sense. And trade packs don't make any sense. For, like, two weeks after this point, and, like, this was, like, a month ago. I don't really remember the dates at this point. But, like, two weeks after, like, this point I'm talking about in the game, it didn't even make sense to do trade packs. They costed too much. 
brand new players were doing trade packs, not realizing they were losing money trying to do the trade packs, which everybody was saying, oh, this is the way to make money. No, the market was being manipulated by veteran players who bought out like potatoes and carrots and fucking broccoli or whatever the fuck is in this game. I don't even remember anymore. Who the fuck cares? How about that? Monetize this shit. <laughs> anyway, fucking, I'm sorry. The game is dead. Everybody on Reddit, fucking, you suck. Uh, which, I mean, that's pretty much par for the course. Reddit sucks anyway. But r regardless, I mean, come on. I'm not banned. You're stupid. You're just stupid. I'm not banned. I had premium up until like four days ago. I stopped playing the game like three weeks ago, four weeks ago. All right? That's how much I care about the game. Which sucks. That part sucked. I didn't want to play anymore, and I felt obligated to because my friend got premium for me. And it's like, damn. I don't want to play this game because the developer is a fucking asshole. So anyway, uh, good luck, everybody. Please enjoy the game if you like it. Um, there's, it's just dead, so don't don't expect more people to start playing it. And, uh, oh no, this is a separate tangent I was going to make about EVE Online. Never mind. Anyway, love you guys. Twitch.tv slash Uncle Muscles. Check me out. Playing the finals right now. Dumpstering hackers all day. Uh, once again, very funny that people call me hacking and RMTing when literally I'm like number one, like, call you out for hacking and RMTing. Which is what I basically did. I called out the fucking developer for, like... RMTing essentially, and then now I'm banned. So whatever, you know, far for the course for Uncle Muscles. Check me out, twitch.tv slash uh, Uncle Muscles. That's me. Hi, everybody. Love you guys. I gotta go. Bye.